So we've looked at addition. What do you think is next? Looking at subtraction. It's the same exact concept, but we have to be super careful to group together what comes together on our second um, term, or third if we have more than two, because that subtraction sign is very important. We have to give it to every single term up top, not just the very first one. So, same story to subtract. When the denominators are the same, we subtract the numerators, keep the same denominator, simplify if we need to. So, when we have monomial over monomial, minus monomial over monomial, pretty simple case. 8 minus 3, what are we left with up there? 5, and we keep the same denominator, x. Very straightforward when we only have one term up in the top. When we have more than one, though, it's helpful just to throw parentheses everywhere. Group together what comes together. Because we're subtracting that entire quantity, x minus 2, not just x. So, when we go straight across the top here, I've got 3x minus that entire thing, x minus 2, all over our common denominator, x plus 2. So, when we need to simplify this guy, we got to distribute the negative in to get rid of the parentheses. So, I'm looking at 3x minus x plus 2 over x plus 2. So, what are we looking at? I have 2x plus 2 all over x plus 2. And, can we simplify that? We could factor out a factor of 2 up top, and we'll be left with x plus 1. And now we can look common between them. Can we take out anything? No. Got to leave it there. But it's very important to group together what comes together on that second term. So down below, what should we be doing here? Group together what comes together. On the front, it doesn't matter since we don't have a negative out here. It's only in front of our second term. So, what do we have up top? 2x squared plus 4x minus 7. And let's distribute as we go to start simplifying. I've got negative x squared, negative x, and positive 8. All over that same denominator, 2x plus 1. So, as we combine our like terms here, what are we getting? How many x squareds? I've got 2 and I'm taking away 1. So I've got 1x squared left. I've got 4x minus 1x gives me positive 3. And negative 7 plus 8, I get a positive 1. 2x plus 1 down below. And can we factor that numerator? So 1 is prime. My only options are 1 and 1 for my constants. I can never add 1 plus 1 and get out 3. So that one can't factor. But we always want to check. So again, what has to happen? To subtract rational expressions with different denominators, we have to work towards common ones. Common denominators. Common denominators. And group together what comes together because it is very important. So, first example, do we have common denominators? No, and right off the bat, I'm going to group together what comes together everywhere, just to be safe. And we need to build common denominators. So, starting with the first, what is this one missing that my other term has? Factor of x plus 4, whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. And on my second term, what is this one missing that the other one has? A factor of x minus 4. And what are we really multiplying by in each of these cases? 1. Same thing, divided by the same thing, it's 1. Changing what it looks like, not altering the problem altogether. So let's start simplifying. What do I have up top? x plus 2 times x plus 4. And I'm subtracting that entire quantity that's coming after. x plus 1, x minus 4. All over x plus 4, x minus 4. 
So how do we start to simplify that numerator? We've seen some like this before. We have to FOIL it all out. So let's start. Over here, got x squared plus 4x plus 2x. So I've got 6 on the inside and plus 8. Now whatever comes after that subtraction, I'm subtracting that entire quantity. So I still need groupings around it. And what do we get out of there? x squared minus 4x plus 1x. So I've got minus 3. And 1 times negative 4, negative 4. All over our LCD. So let's start distributing and combining our like terms. So I've got x squared plus 6x plus 8. And now every single sign in there is going to change when I get rid of those parentheses. So negative x squared, positive 3x, positive 4 all over the LCD. And what about those terms? x squared minus x squared will be gone. And I've got 6x and another 3, so that'll give me 9x. And 8 and 4 gives me 12. That's all over x plus 4, x minus 4. Can we factor that though? Can we do any more work in the numerator? Yeah common between those that we can take out is a factor of 3. When we do that, we're left with on the inside 3x plus 4. We need to have it factored completely in order to look and see. Is there anything common that we could take out of those? Top and bottom? No. They need to match exactly if we're going to be able to do that. Next one. Trinomials down below. Still have to factor. And is it going to be necessary to put parentheses around 2 right now? No, because I'm just subtracting that one monomial. I don't have to distribute to other ones. But later on, we might have to distribute. So we have to pay attention. Be a little bit careful there. But we need to factor in the beginning. First term, I've got a 1 out on the front. And all of my signs are positive. So that tells me all of those signs are going to be positive. And what combo of factors of 6 will give me 5 when I add them? 2 and 3. Done. First one done. Moving on to the second one. Again, I've got a 1 out on the front. And they're both positive. 2 is prime, so I only have the options for 2 and 1. Kind of factors itself. And let's check. If I add 2 and 1, do I get my middle term? Yes. When I multiply, do I get the end term? Yeah, we should always double check. So let's start to build. Looking at my first term, what is this one missing that the other one has? A factor of, I guess I'll scooch over a little bit. Factor of x plus 1. Whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. And over here, what is this one missing that the other one has? <laughs> we went in order. One, two, three. We are missing a factor of x plus 3. Whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So let's start to simplify. In my numerator up here, I have x times that quantity, x plus 1. And I can change the order around because multiplication is what? Commutative. And I've got a negative 2 times that quantity, x plus 3 up top over here. Negative 2 times that quantity x plus 3. And I'm going to be lazy and write LCD down there for now as we simplify. So getting rid of the parentheses, let's distribute. What are we looking at from that first term? x squared plus x. And we have to distribute negative 2 to each of these to get rid of those parentheses. So we got minus 2x and minus 6 all over our LCD. And almost there. Combining like terms, I've got one factor of x squared, negative one factors of x, and minus 6. That's all over x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3. So now that we've simplified the numerator, we want to see if we can factor it. So I have a 1 out on the front. 
and I need to break up negative 6 into things that are going to multiply there, add to negative 1. So our terms have to be close together, and the larger one needs to be negative. So I've got minus 3 plus 2 all over our LCD. And since everything is factored, what can we cancel out? Top and bottom, x plus 2. Can we cancel out these two? Why not? Because one's positive, one's negative. They have to match exactly. So that's all that we could take out and that was common. So up top, we're left with x minus 3. Down below, we've got x plus 1, x plus 3. And if we leave it in the factored form, it's the easiest way to tell if we've made any mistakes. Can we go any farther? So go ahead and take those next two, subtract those values, simplify as far as you can go. So the first one, we've got monomials down below, so we can start to build right in the beginning. And again, grouping together what comes together is going to help you on that second term. So as I look down here, what is this one missing that the other one has? A factor of 5. And on my second term, what is this one missing that the other one has? A factor of 3. Multiplication is commutative, so we can change the order around if needed. So up top for my first term, I've got 5 times that quantity. And I'm going to write negative 3 first times 2x minus 1. That's all over our LCD, which is pretty small, so we can write it. 15x, and let's simplify. Distributing in, what are we looking at? 5x minus 10, and negative 6x plus 3. That's all over 15x. Combine in like terms. How many factors of x do we have? A negative 1. Combining our constants together, we got minus 7. And as we look, can we simplify that any farther? Nope, it's as far as we can go. And for the second one, we need to factor those denominators. Everything is positive and we have coefficients 1 out on the front, so it won't be so bad. And how did that first one factor? I know it broke into an x and an x, and they're all positive. Two things multiplying to 56 and adding to 15. We needed 7 and 8. And over here, again, same story. One out on the front, positives everywhere. And what factors multiply to 42 but add to 13? 7 and 6. So now that everything was factored, we can start building our least common denominator. What is this one missing that the other one has? Factor of x plus 6. And over here, what is this one missing that the other one has? Factor of x plus 8. So as we start to simplify, what are we looking at up top? I've got x times that quantity, x plus 6, and negative 6 times x plus 8. That's all over the LCD. Simplifying, we've got to distribute to get rid of the parentheses in each case. So the first term is x squared plus 6x. Second one, I've got negative 6x minus 48. All over that LCD still. So what do you notice about our middle terms there? I've got a positive and a negative, so those are going to go away. In the end, we're left with x squared minus 48 all over my LCD, which I'm going to write in now, x plus 6, x plus 7, x plus 8. And as we look, see if we can break it down any farther. Can I factor that numerator? So it's a binomial, two terms, and we have a difference. So x squared is a perfect square, but is 48? No. 49 is. We're pretty close, but not quite there. So we can't factor that numerator. Even though it's ugly, that's our answer. Can't break it down any farther.